Yeah, hi guys. So, um, just thought I'd show you how to check if things are true or not or whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was just watching this guy here and, um, I'll, I'll just see what he says here. Are six genders between breeding male and breeding female? Is it like a tra is it like a, a transition from male to transition to female? I mean, is it like sort a of, sort of, sort of? Okay, okay. okay. None of the uh, none of the six genders in between the breeders obviously can breed. Okay, that are created for specific reasons. Okay, it's not okay. natural. Okay, so in the midst of there are there administrators, the Satan. Okay, so Lucifer is not able to breed. Lucifer is a Satan, a Shaitan, a lawyer. Okay, that's their whole function. It's a title, it's a role. Okay, and so they are created to be a certain type of mentition and keep the structure of the Elohim, their social order, all together. All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, the six gender thing, he's saying... Satan's in the middle of these six genders and they all reproduce and um, blah 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 um, <clears throat> anyway so Satan so we'll, we can look up words like Satan and just see if he's correct so he sounds all very cool you know lawyer oh yeah lawyer sounds good so <clears throat> what you got to do is just check if it's biblical all right so which is really easy so you can use the blue letter Bible all right and just type in the word Satan there Okay, so um, if you click on the Strongs here, I right, pretty much got to use KJV because that's who Strongs was made for. <coughs> the other Bibles, some of the other Bibles have it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, <coughs> yeah, so you can click on Strongs and that'll bring up your numbers here and it'll um, show you the definitions and stuff. So we've got Satan here. H is Hebrew, so um, adversary, superhuman Satan, the arch enemy of good. All right, so that's basically that one. He's the arch enemy of good, and it comes from this here. So you can, you got sore torn. All right, it comes from that one. So let's have a look at that one. Um, saw tan. Okay, so accuse. Be an adversary, resist. All right, so the, he's the accuser. Um, so you hear the accuser's voice a lot nowadays. All right, so yeah, he's incorrect. This guy is an accuser, and what you need is a lawyer to protect you from him. <laughs> All right, so you can also look at Satan in Greek. All right, Greek have a different one there, and that's where you see G. G is for Greek in those. You've also got this Bible Hub. You can go to Bible Hub there, and you've got the Concordance. And you can just type your word in there, um, and they'll come up. And it's not, not as good as the blue letter, but it's good enough. And you can put numbers in there, too, if you want. Strong's numbers. So you've got, like, you come up here, the adversary, Satan, adversary, um, blah, blah, blah. So that, that's all pretty cool. Uh, where we go? Let's go to another bit here. See what he says here. To expect that we're going to be getting into it with the space aliens, and no, we're not going to be living in brotherly love with these guys. These are the Elohim, and and. Well, when Stephen Greer says. I don't know. All right, so he's saying the Elohim are coming to get us. Well, yeah, well. It, we're not against um, flesh and blood. We're against the darkness and the principalities and all that sort of thing. So they're, they're already here. They're doing their stuff. Elohim is uh, a spiritual world. It's um, not not so much in the physical. So you got El, which is God, and then you got Elohim, um, God-like, I suppose. But it's, it's like lots of them sort of thing. Or, or you know, a few. So you got... Uh, <clears throat> um, you got like man or mankind, that sort of thing along those lines, right? So when he when he says hello, Emma, come and it, it basically he's correct in in some of that, but um, you know it's bad guys or whatever are coming. Um, th this is his alien thing. Um, all right, where's his other part here? Uh, angels 
are, um, well, it turns out they're really pissed all the time. Okay, so all of the literature we have says if an archangel, if you see an archangel on the road, the one that was most impressive was this Egyptian guy that had traveled through Judea and wrote all this down. And he says if you see an archangel and L on the road, you'll know him by all these uh, things. Right? First off, they're like eight feet high, and they weigh like five or six hundred pounds. Um, and he says what you must do is fling yourself into the ditch on the side of the road, bury your face in the dirt, and hope to hell they do not notice you. Okay, there's, there's a, this guy describes a situation where he's on the road and he sees this archangel uh, further down the road and he sees this little um, uh, interaction with this guy and the archangel where the guy apparently didn't bow deep enough or whatever and so the archangel literally takes his finger and just rams it right through the guy's skull. Kid, right? Alright, so he's saying all the literature we have. If I didn't hear him quote a Bible verse or anything like that. And he also said an Egyptian guy, so they're not renowned for worshipping God. <laughs> they worship their own gods, right? That's why um, uh, God did the plagues on that Pharaoh and um, killed his firstborn because they worship the God of firstborns. So he killed all the firstborns to show that he is God. Right, so that, this fellow here <coughs> says that the angel said, if you don't bow down and worship me, you know, he just drives his finger through your head, right? So you'll see in scripture, in the Bible, all the angels have said is, don't worship me, right? Worship God. I am just a fellow servant. Do not worship me. Um, so, yeah, so if this guy is trying to teach us biblical stuff, um, I'd give him a wide miss pass <laughs> all right so uh, just just in this alone just he he did say on one of his other videos there that um our definitions our word definitions are changing and it's the government that's doing it and it's the bad guys all right well no it's people like him all right so i, I agree yes our word definitions are changing and that's why you've got to use the strongest concordance because it doesn't change uh you can just go and check and that's the only way you can understand the bible too that's why we're having difficulties understanding the bible nowadays it's because all our word definitions have changed so you have to use the concordance otherwise you'll never get the bible you won't understand it and then you can go and use your 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 own brain you know and once you start trusting in yourself then you become like this man right you'll you'll um try and reason stuff out by yourself and and you're just gonna go the wrong way so he's still in the world very much so he's he's not um a godly man by any stretch of the imagination and i will point out if you watch this lady um, you get shit for all kinds of weird weird stuff there anyway though so um without authority how will these people think that'll be really you, you probably miss it, but sometimes her eyes go totally dark, and, and it's like a fair few times. It's not interesting because I guess they it's a lot. They, they really people really need that help, like, uh, yeah, uh, there's a few times, like, even this is still a little bit white there, but I keep seeing times where they're just totally the whole lot is black, all right. So, <clears throat> I, I do watch for these sort of things, and um, I've seen them, seen them happening. Right, and um, I'll, I'll point out this, Satan and these demons are, uh, look very nice, but when you upset them, they'll, they're not so hidden. <laughs> All right, God bless, guys. Hope that helps.